FLIR Tools Plus version 3 has some important improvements that can both enhance your FLIR camera and improve report writing efficiency. The reporting component has been improved, providing several PDF templates, as well as the ability to create a Microsoft Word report. The Panorama tool allows you to stitch several thermal images into a high-resolution radiometric image. Isotherms and building alarms can be added to images to aid in thermal analysis. The speed for sequence recordings can be adjusted, and IR and photo image groups can be created manually. Some of the biggest improvements with FLIR Tools 3 relate to the reporting options. You now have several PDF report templates to choose from. If you right-click on a template page, you can set this as the default template for new reports. Now when you click Create Report, you can see that all the pages use the same template format. In addition to the PDF templates, you now have several Microsoft Word templates to choose from. If you click on a Word template, the selected images will be sent to Word, and a new report will be made as an editable Word document. FLIR Tools installs as a Word add-in. This allows you to add content to the page and create or edit Word templates. The thermal image is an active image embedded in Microsoft Word, allowing you to make adjustments to the scale, change the color palette, and measure temperatures, just like you can in FLIR Tools. You can save the report as a standard Word document and open it later for further editing, which is a big improvement over the PDF report. The Panorama module allows you to stitch several standard thermal images into a single high-resolution radiometric image. If matching edges are found, it will automatically stitch them, and in this case there are several panoramas in the selected folder. You can crop the stitched image and perform other perspective adjustments, and then save it as a new image. You can even combine images stored using MSX mode in the camera. The combined image is radiometric, just like a standard panorama image. Since it is radiometric, you can return to the image library and open the assembled image in order to adjust image settings and perform further analysis. You can also include the image in a PDF report or a Word report. Isotherms can be used to highlight areas of the image that have a similar apparent temperature. FLIR Tools allows you to add three types of isotherms, above, below, and interval. The isotherm's position in the scale can be adjusted and you can type a specific isotherm limit. There's also a humidity alarm to help detect moisture problems, and a similar alarm to help find insulation problems based on the structure's thermal index. A new option in the recording screen allows you to set a recording interval. So, for example, you can record an image every 5 or 10 seconds instead of at the full frame rate. This can save a lot of disk space in cases where the full frame rate is not needed. When the recording is complete, it will appear in the film strip below. You can now open the recording and play it back in real time, or navigate to specific frames.
You can now easily create image groups by dragging a photo onto its matching thermal image. This is beneficial for cameras that do not have the simultaneous mode and for users who prefer to use a separate digital camera for the reference photos. These images are from an i7, which does not have a built-in visual camera. Since the visual photos were copied to the same folder, we can easily create the groups and the end result is the same as if we imported from a camera with simultaneous mode. To learn more about FLIR Tools Plus and to download a 30-day trial, please visit our website at www.flir.com and navigate to the Thermography Products page.